What's up, guys? It's your boy, Kiko1, and I'm trying to start off uh, softly here and then get more excited because I want to talk about a plugin that I think is a extreme game changer for FL. Um, I've wanted something like this for a long time. Uh, what am I talking about today? Well, today I'm talking about the plugin called Bendy. Bendy is a free plugin that allows you to do a variety of things. One of them, which I find really important, is using slide notes in third-party plugins. Well, Kiko, what the hell is a slide note? What are you talking about? What's a third-party plugin? Okay, let's back up a second. So FL Studio, love it or hate it, I love it, has a really expressive and easy-to-use piano roll, right? What's a piano roll? Well, it's where you can compose, you can draw in notes and, and do all this fun stuff. One of the things you can do in FL with FL native plugins is draw in a slide note. So for example, here, um, well, let's listen to this real quick. You tell me if you can hear the slides in this pattern. Right there. That is the nature of the beast. The slide. Bow, bow, bow. Right? How do you do this? Well, normally with an FL native, and when I mean native, I mean it comes with FL Studio. Synthesizer, <clears throat> you're able to have a note, A, and then uh, click this slide button here. And once you have that selected, the next note that you put down the previous note will slide to it. So check it out. Whoa, that's crazy. Let's make it an octave so it sounds a little more smooth. And you can really get creative with this. You can make this like at the very end of the pattern here, like right, it's faster. Or you can make it slide up, right? That sounds like an awful seagull dying. Um, or you can do whole chords that slide down, which is what I'm doing right now. Check this out. A full octave. This chord. And really what, it, what this is, is it's as if you had a keyboard in front of you and you had a pitch bend wheel and you were just putting the pitch bend up or down, right? But in this case, we just choose you know, with the note, with the slide note. We choose how much it bends, etc. So as you can imagine, and as you can hear, this makes it a really fun, expressive tool in FL Studio. Well, the reason why this plugin is so cool, by the way, the plugin is called Bendy. It's by this fellow named Super Joe Bob. Uh, he, it's been out for a year now. It's on his YouTube channel. You can get it here. If you just type in Bendy FL Studio Piano Roll plugin, you'll find it. Um, fairly easy to install as well. There's a you know installation thing in the uh, zip file. I'm rambling. Uh, the reason why this plugin is so cool is because it allows you to do this same piano roll bending and even more stuff um, with third-party plugins. What's a third-party plugin? It's a plugin that didn't come with FL Studio, that has really nothing to do with FL, that is made by a different developer, different code, all this stuff. And I'm not going to get into the whole science behind it. I mean, really what this is doing is it's just MIDI note information that the plugin can do, right, that, you know, this third-party synth can do. But it's basically allowing it to do it inside of this piano roll. Well, let me stop rambling and explain what I mean. So I'm going to load up Bendy. Here it is. Real cute interface, right? It's real simple options. You have more stuff down here if you want to get crazy with vibrato and speed and all this stuff. I haven't quite mastered this stuff yet. I'm really just focusing on the bare essentials here. But let's say I want to do this same pattern in a different plugin. Let's load up Serum. I actually have a specific patch picked out for this demo. So we're going to open up. Yeah, let's do this one here. Okay. So in order to get these two talking to each other, Bendy and Serum, what you need to do first is choose a MIDI port number. This can be literally anything. Now, uh, 
I would say use one that you're probably not going to use with other synths. Like, for example, I have a hardware synth. That's always MIDI port one. That's just what I do. So I don't want to also this to be one at the same time. It's going to confuse things. You know, choose one you know you're not going to use with other plugins and synths. Let's do three. Three sounds good. Um, and you'll click on Serum here. Again, third-party plugin. Click on the gear. Uh, click on the second tab and go down. Import three. I already did it. So how do you know it's talking to each other? Well, um, normally in Serum, right, you can do the piano roll there in the Serum plugin. But with Bendy, you'll know it's kind of working because you're triggering Serum from Bendy, right? Because it's connected via MIDI, right? Port three, input port three, right? Real basic. Cool. So let's do this. Let's take this pattern from Harmore, which is an FL native plugin. Control X, Control V into Bendy. Let's see if it works. Quite. I mean, yes, it can play the notes, but the bend is not the same because in in the Harmore, the FL native one, you'll notice it's it's a full octave. It's it's bending all the way down. Right. So what we need to do is change the pitch bend range. Right. Right now it's set to two. I think we need to adjust it on Serum, but let's try it on Bendy first. Let's make it a full octave. Why not? See what happens. 12 semitones. And I'm sorry, we have to put it back over here. Nope. Not quite working yet. So instead, what we're going to have to do, and what you're going to have to do in every plugin that you use this with, is change the, the bend range for the plugin, right? So we go to Serum, this is real easy. What you do here, down here you see minus two, plus two, right, down here. You're just going to make this minus 12 and plus 12. Now there isn't a plus, but you know it's, you know it's plus, it's positive, it's going up and down. Minus is down, no minus is up, okay? Let's hear it now. Ooh. working perfectly. Hey. I'm not going to sing. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. So Serum is pretty easy to do. And I'm just talking about the bend range, the slide note thing. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so let's try another plugin. Let's try D50. Yeah. And did I save a patch for this? I did not. Yeah, let's let's do this. So we're going to now. What you want to remember to do um, is, if you're going to send it to the third port, right? Serum will still be triggering it. So you you might want to, you know, mute Serum, right? If you're if they're going to share the same port, for example, the D50, we're gonna pop 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 pop, make it three, and then. Hey, that works pretty well. Let me make sure. Ooh. Let's do another patch though, because it doesn't always work that well, right? It can mess up sometimes. Let's do Living Calliope. This might not work. There we go. So it, the, the problem with the bend range, I guess on that first patch I was doing, it was already at 12. This sounds like it's at two. So what you want to do for the D50, click on patch. It's real easy. Bend range. You have 12 semitones. Let's listen now. So you're just taking the slider and bringing it up. Check it out. Make this a whole 
track now. Um, so I, I want to be clear, you know, that's all I really wanted this plugin to do. There's a lot more you can do. For example, uh, let's see here. Velocity override. Right. So you can mess with the velocity. I'm a little scared to try this. Let's see. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that does. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> now, if this is true, if you can actually set up vibrato, boy, wait a minute. This could be kind of crazy. Wait, let's see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Joseph Joestar. Holy shit. Wait a minute. That's Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing. <laughs> Sorry, I just got really excited, bro. Holy shit, dude. So you can actually, well, okay, that makes sense. It makes sense that you could control vibrato, speed, and, and depth because that's crazy. Oh my God. It's a built-in vibrato because most synths allow you to do that with the mod wheel, you know? Anyway, guys, this is now rambling. But anyway, Bendy, it's free. Makes sense to me. Um, you know, and, and is definitely useful. Super useful, I think. Because if you ever want to compose something in the same way that you do with other FL plugins, now you have an option. Is it 100% flawless? No. But I think it's still really useful, really clutch. So thank you guys for coming and i will try to put out more of these tutorials man i really like the feedback i got on the one from a couple saturdays ago on baselines i'll just keep them coming anyway love you guys take care peace